move on to our next presentation from our 2018 bond oversight committee uh christian wheeler is here to make that presentation and i also want to recognize i and i tried to look through the room to see if there's anybody else but i see uh, michael guest is a member of that committee as well and and here uh and to support her so we'll let her make her presentation I brought my husband with me too, so he's, he's my biggest supporter, so I appreciate him being here too. Um, so President Kunkel, members of the board, thank you for your service. Thank you for all you do for our district. But I would like to also address Dr. Brown and the cabinet tonight as we just go through this process. The Bond Oversight Committee met last week on January 13th as per our regularly scheduled meetings. We were apprised of details concerning financial, construction, and technology progress within the current bond projects. In financial news, our 2018 bond sale scheduled for January of 2020 was completed Tuesday morning, just after our meeting the night before. We were excited to hear the report that the all-in interest rate was 2.16%. At this point in the 2018 bond, the district interest costs are over $90 million less than projections presented to the voters. That's great news. In construction news, we were informed of the great news that projects like the Collegiate Academy of Birdville, controlled entry projects, Birdville High School roof replacement, and the rebuild bids for Haltom and Richland Middle Schools have all come in under projected budget, which that's great news as well. The controlled entry projects at some schools have been left incomplete and contractor fired um, due to failure to complete projects on time. The district is looking to hire someone new to complete these projects by spring of 2020. The budget status is unknown pending completion time and contractor pricing. The roofing project at Northridge Middle School over the kitchen is complete and the roof at Birdville High School is currently in progress, not without its struggles, but it's getting done, so that's a good thing. Um, if you have any questions about that, just ask about a basketball game, you know, on a Friday night with rain, tornado warnings, and all sorts. Anyway, um, the controlled in, so um, the full HVAC projects for Hardeman and Watauga Elementary are out for bids currently. We were informed of the quick progress being made of Smithfield Middle School's gym and excited about its projected summer 2020 completion. The Halton Middle School and Richland Middle School replacements are in progress with a spring summer 2021 completion projection with the sports fields completed the December and January after. We were educated about the design phase of Smithfield Elementary, including its roadways to and from the school. Very exciting, and designs are in progress for the auditorium upgrades, which are mainly lighting at all three high schools with a completion projection of summer 2020. And finally, bids are in for Cheney Hills Partner School. We were advised of the property layout and the bridge that will concurrently be built with a goal of a summer 2021 completion. In technology news, we were given an update of all technology upgrades, both in progress and completed, and are highly satisfied with the efforts being made that are advancing the timeline while working harmoniously with the school calendar, including spring testing. Consolidated security and infrastructure projects are completed at most schools after starting early with the second phase. The, school, the last schools will be completed by the end of April. Large venue audio and video upgrades are complete at the Coliseum and in progress at the Omni Rooms and waiting on construction at the high school auditoriums, as mentioned earlier. The first phase of schools for which technology devices are being refreshed has been completed, save North Oaks Middle School and Holiday Heights Elementary, which will be finished by the month's end. And due to spring testing, the second phase will begin as scheduled and be carried out over the summer. There were only clarification questions asked by our committee at the end of the presentation Monday night for which all district staff answered fully. The bond oversight committee is highly satisfied with the progress being made in these projects. And we look forward to the next report in April. Exciting things are happening in BISD. Thank you for your time. Any questions? Uh, and not still yes, sir. His, his thunder, but tell everybody on the uh, committee how much we appreciate what you guys do. I think Mr. Davis, I'm not mistaken, was the one that came up with this idea for one of our bond packages a, f a few years back. And it yeah. really gives me a lot of peace of mind to know we've got great people out there watching our, our dollars. 
I know some of the personalities on that, so you probably don't need this admonition, but uh, feel free to ask hard questions of them. You know, watch watch the money, uh, especially some of the contingency fees, schedules, ask hard questions. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be done. Don't 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 feel like you guys again most of the personalities don't need this uh, reminder but but ask hard questions uh, and uh, we just tell everybody how much we appreciate it. Thank you Jeff. thank you sir